Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Got another great video for you guys today. As usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, man. We must continue to set the record straight. We must continue to do this stuff, guys. Okay, and once again, this is an impromptu video. Because... <laughs> I mean, sort of impromptu. I told you guys I was going to do this video, but I wasn't going to do this video. But I, I saw this, this nonsense that Jason Kidd said. We're going to talk about it in this video. You guys have probably heard or, or know what I'm talking about. I, I posted it up on my, on my channel not that long ago. We're going to talk about it in this video. Um, and I love Jason Kidd, man, for real, man. Um, but, yo, once again, shout out to everybody out there, man. I want to thank everybody across the world. Everybody across the states, man. Shout out to everyone, man, for real. Everybody that's been supporting my channel, man. France, Germany, uh, Canada, everybody in Japan, everybody out there in the Philippines, everybody out there in South Africa, man. Kenya, Bahamas, everybody out there in, in Italy, man. Shout out to everybody in Serbia, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, man. Shout out to everybody in Mexico. Shout out to everybody everywhere, man, for real, man. Just shout out to everyone, man, for real. Everyone across the states, man, New York, L.A., Chicago, D.C., Detroit, just everybody, man, Texas, Ohio, Connecticut. Yo, shout out to all you guys, man, uh, Florida. Shout out to everyone, man, for real, man. Much respect. Thank you. I am truly humbled, guys, truly, truly humbled by all the support, man. It means a lot to me, for real. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, this was kind of an impromptu video. I, I posted this thing up earlier about Jason Kidd and the, and the comments that he made referring to Luka Doncic. And listen, man, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. When, when I'm talking to you guys about standing up and I'm talking to you guys about setting the record straight, this is what I'm talking about. When I talk about integrity and i tell you guys or rather we also talk about how some of these ex-nba players whether they're all-time greats or not how they sometimes will feel that what they say matters more than the average fan someone like me and you because they play the game and they'll say things like you know we don't know what we're talking about when we have our debates on who's the greatest of all time who's not Whatever we're talking about, our opinions are not valid because we were never professional athletes. But what have I told you guys on this channel, man? The one important thing that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter who you are, is your integrity. So when we're talking about conversations, debates, and we're talking about sports, and we're talking about setting the record straight, what we're talking about is the truth, the facts. How it actually happened in what? In reality. And what's going on now here is the bending of reality that we're living in. And also they're trying to rewrite history by rather trying to forget things and how things actually were and how it happened. So when I listen to Jason Kidd speak about Luka Doncic and he literally says he's better than Dirk. He didn't even give it a thought. Just says he's better than Dirk Nowitzki. Boom, just like that. Then he proceeds to take it even a crazier step further by putting him in the same class as guys like Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. And that's what we're going to focus on here, guys. You know how we do on this channel. We're going to focus on the Michael Jordan aspect of these comments and Luka Doncic, and we're going to touch on this Dirk Nowitzki aspect. Now, my problem off the jump as it relates to what I was just talking about earlier about opinions and ex-players and integrity is that when Jason Kidd says these things, he's not speaking from a place of truth or honesty because he's the coach of the guy he's talking about. So when you make these comments, to have integrity would mean that no matter what, you always keep it 100 that's what's called having integrity. This is why when you hear people say you're a hater, they don't know what they're talking about because that's all they can say. 
because the facts cannot be disputed. That's why on this channel, it's about the facts and setting the record straight. And that's what we're going to do right now. Because when Jason Kidd makes these comments, he's being disingenuous because he's trying to give his boy some shine, give him some props. But at the same time, you're taking away and you're not educating the actual people who might listen to you. Because let's be very clear here. Jason Kidd to me is arguably a top five point guard in NBA's history. That's my opinion. Arguably top five point guard in the history of the game. To me, Jason Kidd is one of my favorite players of all time. I love his game. When he played here locally for the New Jersey Nets, I went and saw him play many times. The tickets were cheap. But when he says these things, because he has that stature, that status, people are going to listen to him. And all of a sudden now, what does that do? All of a sudden now, Luka Doncic is in the same conversation with Michael Jordan. This is where he went. And there's no world in no reality that Luka Doncic should ever be mentioned with Michael Jordan, guys. And this is what I'm talking about, man. Why must they always mention Michael Jordan? They must always mention Michael Jordan. But all these other fan club people will tell you that we always mention their players. No, Michael Jordan is the standard. He's the bar for all athletes. Who do you guys think Tom Brady was chasing? Who do you guys think someone like a Roger Federer looks up to? He's the standard. So when we think about these things and we think about Jason Kidd making that statement, this is what aggravates me because he's not keeping his integrity. He's not really telling the facts because there's no way that Luka Doncic is ever going to be in the same conversation as a Michael Jordan. I can already tell you that, guys, right now in his sixth, whatever season he's in, I think this is the sixth season that he's in, very early in his career. He doesn't have the game of Michael Jordan, guys. Yes, he's very good. Listen, Luka Doncic is great. He's really good, man. What he does in this era. But once again, that's the problem. He plays in this era of NBA. And his game, listen, Luka Doncic with the ball in his hands is great. He's shown to be very good, right? But once again, Luka Doncic hasn't won anything. We could talk about teammates and help and all of this nonsense, whatever the case may be. But he's not really making his teammates better, so to speak, because of the way that he plays dominating the basketball. So when we talk about a Michael Jordan and we talk about the overall games here, on the offensive side, it's not close. It's not. As great as Luka is offensively, He's nowhere on the level of a Michael Jordan in Michael Jordan's sixth season in the league. I mean, what did Michael Jordan already accomplish going into his sixth season? I mean, come on, guys. What are we talking? See, once again, when Jason Kidd throws out Michael Jordan's name, it's ridiculous. He shouldn't have said anything like that. He could have easily given Luka mad props by saying, I believe Luka's going to be one of the all-time greats. I believe that he has a chance to surpass Dirk Nowitzki as the greatest Maverick in the history. That's what he really should have said. That would have gave Luka Matt props. You're putting him up there with Dirk Nowitzki as the greatest Maverick in the history of that, league, of that team? That would have been a huge prop. He, you're saying he would have been one of the all-time greats in the history of the game. That's not giving someone props. Why do you have to mention Michael Jordan? Because on the defensive end, my goodness. Come on, man. Uh, Luka Doncic is not even in the stratosphere of a Michael Jordan defensively, and we get it. This era is not like that, but even if it was, he's not the athlete. He's none of these things compared to Michael Jordan. It's really bad to throw Michael Jordan's name out there with a Luka Doncic because what does this force us to do? Set the record straight and say, stop this nonsense, man. Let this dude play his career out before you start mentioning him with guys like Michael Jordan, even Kobe Bryant or LeBron James, man. Come on, what are we talking about here? And as it pertain pertains to the Dirk Nowitzki aspect of this, listen, once again, for me right now, I'm not putting Luka Doncic above Dirk Nowitzki all time. I mean, listen, Dirk Nowitzki got an MVP award for what it's worth in a very tough era of the 2000s. In a very tough conference, he played in the Western Conference his entire career. 
going against the all-time legends like Tim Duncan and Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, Steve Nash. So let's give Dirk Nowitzki some props here and some credit. Let's put some respect on his name for Jason Kidd to, to just like, you know, like I said, it was so casually that he just dismissed Dirk Nowitzki like, oh, he's greater than Dirk Nowitzki. Like, listen, man, are there things that Luka Doncic does better than Dirk Nowitzki? Absolutely. He's a much greater playmaker than Dirk Nowitzki was, the ball handling ability of Luka Doncic playing that point guard position. Absolutely. But when we're talking about shooting the basketball, give me Dirk Nowitzki. We're talking about leadership. Give me Dirk Nowitzki. When we talk about the heart, the grit, the toughness, give me Dirk Nowitzki, man. Dirk Nowitzki played over 75 games, like 9 or 10 times, 11, 12 times his career. Played over 80 games, like 8 or 9 times his career. Luka Doncic has never even sniffed 80 games in his career. Has never even won 80 games. Playing 60, 65 games. Putting up nice numbers, playing 60 games. Dirk Nowitzki was out there balling, man. Hustling. Showing up to work. Grinding. Showing some heart. Leading the Dallas Mavericks. From nothing. Earning a championship. The first championship in his history. Against a super team. On one of the most magical runs. But Jason Kidd, who was there, right? Jason Kidd was there for that championship run with Dirk Nowitzki. He was a key contributor to that run. And he's going to dismiss Dirk Nowitzki that easily. This is what I don't like with these guys talking, these past players. They're being disingenuous. Just because they play in the NBA and they might have more insight than us on some of these aspects doesn't mean that they're educating you and telling you the truth, the facts. They're telling you what they want to say for whatever the reason they want to say it, whatever the reason Jason Kidd had to big up his boy, Luka Doncic. We can't accept that. We can't let that stand. We can't let it stand. Luka Doncic is nowhere in the level of a Michael Jordan, a Kobe Bryant, a LeBron James. He's not on the level of these guys. We have to slow down here. We have to slow it down. Jason Kidd, guys, please, my goodness, once again, I, no disrespect. There's no disrespect to Jason Kidd. No disrespect to him. I get what he's saying here. But, dude, come on, man. This is not helping the NBA's history. All this is doing is to what? Once again, bring these guys down. You're lowering Michael Jordan down to Luka Doncic? This is what we're doing? Because Luka Doncic scored some points? We're being enamored with the stats. We're not enamored with the substance, though. Where's the two-way play of Luka Doncic? It's not on Michael Jordan's level, man. He's not on Michael Jordan's level, guys. My God, this is insane, man. I can't believe this is where we've gone with the NBA conversations here with some of these guys, these former players who should know better than this. And the Dirk Nowitzki thing, once again, I'm not buying it either. I'm not putting him above Dirk Nowitzki. I'm not putting him above, above Dirk Nowitzki, man. You got to give me something else. Like I said, he's not, let the man finish a career. Jason gets crazy. He's past Dirk Nowitzki. Greater than Dirk Nowitzki. What? No way, man. No way. Maybe he will one day. Maybe one day he will be greater than Dirk Nowitzki. Maybe he will. But right now, stop it. Nope. Nope. You guys let me know how you feel about that. I'm not putting Luka Doncic above Dirk Nowitzki, man. I, like I said, y'all might say his game might be nicer to watch or whatever the case may be. But once again, give me Dirk Nowitzki, man. I told you guys why. Going with Dirk. So, I'm not... And the Michael Jordan thing, like I said, I don't even, it's laughable at best for him to even mention Michael Jordan in the same sentence with a Luka Doncic. It's insane that he would ever be in that level, man. No. 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 Absolutely not, guys. We, and we can't, like I said, we must continue to set this record straight and stop this stuff. You're not going to do that. I don't care who you are. Once again, I have my integrity. Everything remains the same. These guys are not speaking, I'm going to tell you, they're not speaking from a place of honesty to educate you because I'm educating you. And guys, and the facts are, Luka Doncic is nowhere in the realm of a Michael Jordan right now for Jason Kidd to even mention him or to even say it's a possibility down the road. It, however he was trying to say it, it's insane, man. It's insane. Stop mentioning these guys. Let these guys play. Let them do what they do. Why does everybody got to be compared to Michael Jordan? Why does everybody got to be the greatest? Stop. This era is weak. I'm not impressed. I'm not. You guys know the deal, man. We must continue to stand up. This is no disrespect to Luka Doncic. 
I didn't knock him once in this video. But to compare him to a Michael Jordan, like I said, to mention with a Kobe Bryant or a LeBron James is insane to me. Stop it. He's nowhere near Michael Jordan. And the Dirk Nowitzki thing to me does not hold up either. For Jason Kidd to dismiss Dirk Nowitzki that quickly like that, the way he said, was crazy to me. You played with the man. The dude balled out in an NBA Finals down 2-1 to one against a super team Miami Heat. After they were mocking him, they were coughing and mocking him. He wasn't feeling that good. This dude went on a tear. When has Luka Doncic even thought about doing something like that yet? Don't talk to me about help. You guys know the deal, man. Once again, we must continue to set the record straight. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.